Okay, so now we've taken a look at basic input and movement. Let's now do some more advanced play movement mechanics. Jumping, crouching, and sprinting. So let's reopen our player blueprint. And we should go back up to where all the stuff is. So yes, we have forward and backwards, left and right, and uh, left and right, uh, left and right, and up and down mouse movement. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do crouching. And now the character movement uh, it has crouching uh, built in. So all we have to do, so you're going to go back and create new input, and we'll just this is going to be a, an action because we don't need to have um, different values. So just going to add an action. We're going to call it crouch and we're gonna make it uh, left control and we'll also allow it to be C just because you know people like different things just save it okay now in here we're gonna right click we're gonna go crouch and then when we want it we want uh, the player to crouch and uh, you can see it's right here crouch just plug that in and now if I well we don't want to play it yet because we want to allow you to uncrouch so what we could do is we can make it like some games where you hold to stay crouched and then when you release you uncrouch um, or we're gonna we could do the uh, more advanced way, which is what we're gonna do, just because it will teach you a little bit more. So let's go move this over here. I'm gonna get crouched. Get is crouched. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag off, and we're gonna use a branch. Now a branch allows us to do two different things, uh, depending on if a, a boolean or a true false statement is true or false. So if is crouched is true, then we want to uncrouch, and if is crouched is false, is then, then we want to crouch when you press control. We'll just do that. Now see if we're going to start a map, and we press play. I'm just going to uh, uh, turn uh, the volume down uh, over here in the music. Point two, point two, point two. Now play. Okay, so you can see I can move around like I was able to previously. If I press control, then nothing happens. And that is because in our uh, player over here, uh, you have to have the current movement. If we scroll down. There's a variable here, can crouch. We just, have, we just have to set that to true. Now compile and save. Go back in and we save. Press play. Then we can move around and everything back and forth. We can press control or C. You can see we crouch. Now, so let's move the transition or anything. But so you can see that we are crouching and uh, yeah. So it, do, it does make you smaller as well, so you can do more things. So like if we just uh, drag this cube out here, move it, I'd say about this would be good. So you can see we can't move through it uh, normally. If we crouch, we can go right under it. And we can't uncrouch while we're underneath it either, because the animation for character movement uh, component automatically knows that you can't. You just have to say yes, and then it, it, um, it does when they uncrouch you once you go back out. Uh, so yes, you can see crouching is very intelligent. Uh, so now we are also going to uh, make him able, make him, make uh, the player able to jump. So we'll go back into input and we'll add a new one for jump. We'll make it space. Okay. Save it. Go back to player. And then we just want to get input jump. And then jump. 
And that should be all we need to make him jump. See? Now he can jump. So already, in just a few minutes, we're able to move around, uh, move around, and, and uh, crouch, and jump. Uh, so yes, it's, it's pretty it's pretty easy when using the character movement uh, uh, blueprint. It's very easy to make a player. And also, you'll see that right now uh, we can't control where we move while we're jumping. And uh, we'll, we will cover how to change these sorts of settings in another tutorial. Now let's go uh, on to, after saving it, let's make the character sprint. Now there is no built-in uh, sprinting. Uh, for character movement uh, because there doesn't need to be, it's pretty easy to put in. So let's just go back into input and we'll add a new one for sprint. We'll make it left shift. Okay, and we'll save it. Okay, and I'll go back into here. And now, first of all, what we're going to do is you can see that we have. Uh, there's loads of settings here, like I've said previously. Let's see, we have uh, we have walk speeds uh, here. So what we want to do is 600 is the default. So what we want to do is we want to get uh, on begin play, which we don't have in here. I'm just going to put it up here though. Begin play. We are going to want to set a new variable. So we're going to go on a create a new variable. And this variable is going to be a uh, an uh, a float. Uh, we're going to call it uh, start walk speed, and it's going to be a float, which is a number that has decimals as well. And we are going to leave it at zero for default. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set it as soon as the game as soon as the game starts, and uh, we are going to set it to we just get the character movement and you get walk speed spot probably uh, get max walk speed and we're going to set it okay so now from the beginning we're going to know what the walk speed was originally and we also want a new variable for how fast the sprinting is going to be and we're going to call this as a spur if I can spell properly Sprint speed, and let's just uh, I mean we'll compile it, and I'm just going to make it walking is 600, so I'm going to make it 1,000. Won't save. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, we want to get input shift uh, shift input sprint, and what we're going to use is a uh, we are just going to make a very simple version of sprint, so we're just going to make the character run faster. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get pressed, and we're going to uh, we're going to get the start walking speeds. So we're going to get it right here. So now we can use this to see what it is. And we're going to get the character movement again. We're going to get max walk speed. We're going to say that if max walk speed is currently equal to start walk speed, and we're going to get a branch. We're going to say that if it's currently equal to the starting walking speed, then we are going to set walk speed. We're going to set it to our sprinting speed. However, if that's false, we're going to get another branch. If it's false, in fact, we don't even need another branch, then we are just going to set it again. If it's false, which means if uh, well, walking speed is not equal to the start walking speed, which means it would have to be sprinting, because that's another other change we're making to it, then we're going to uh, set it so if it's not equal to the walking speed, then we're going to set it to walking speed when you press left shift. And uh, oh, we have to just target this to the character movement. Compile and save. Now if we press play. Uh, whoops. <laughs> if we press play, we can move around, we can crouch, we can jump. 
if I press shift, we move a lot faster. So faster than have a control. And if oh, I'm still moving fast, right? If I press shift again, and look, we're moving at the starting speed again. If I press it again, we're moving fast again, press it again, and now we're just press it again, and now we're now we're just walking. So this was a short uh, well, a tutorial on how to do some more advanced movement mechanics. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to learn more about UE4, then please join me next time.